Hey there, you guys. I um, had come across this article yesterday, and I didn't finish reading it. It's a PubMed article. Kosaki B virus infections in cardiology, approximately 66 cases. Excuse me. And it's just got the abstract. Kosaki B virus infections are common and frequently asymptomatic. However, in young people, they can cause primary congestive cardiomyopathy and compli compli complicative previous and can complicate previous cardiovascular illnesses. Can complicate previous. So if somebody already had a heart condition and then you get this virus, it can either give you a new heart condition or it can complicate a previous heart condition. Virus diagnosis is difficult and based mainly on the detection of significant rising or stating, staying high neutralizing antibody titers. A clinical and epidemiological, I can't say the word, five year study investigated 3,856 sera. I don't know what that means, serotonin or sera something. 30.2% of the patients had evidence of a significant antibody titer greater than or equal to 64 to the one group B Kosaki virus. This percentage reaches 34.6% in cardiology and fluctuates from year to year. Okay. Kosaki B2 is prominent, 55.9% in cardiology. Kosaki B1 and B2, B2 antibiotic responses were de detected more frequently than B3, B4, or B5. So B1 and B2, Kosaki gets found with the heart conditions way more than B3, 4, and 5. Kosaki B6 comes to, appears to be uncommon. From these, 66 patients have evidence of Kosaki B virus infections with 60.2% for B2, Kosaki B2. They include periocardis, acute and chronic congestive cardiomyopathies. Moreover, it has been suggested that B, Kosaki B virus might be responsible for electrocardiographic abnormalities, which is what I have, but I have it even more specific than that, 9.1%. Ischemic heart disease and myocardial infarction, which is a heart attack, myocardial which I have, and I've had the ischemias. Enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, ELISA, and radioimmunoassay with purified antigens, BT1 and BT4, did not appear better than micro-neutralization for evaluation of IgM and IgG antibodies. To elucidate the mechanisms of cardio injury, it is it is refer to viral replication, virus specific and auto reactive T cell cytotoxic activities. All right, I'll put this link down below, you guys. I'll see if I can cut most of these words. So, this is, uh, it is all interrelated. I'm looking at these. All right, you guys, that's about it.